Romania has sent a emergency plan on security of gas supply after being sued in the Court of Justice of EU. What's the European Commission opinion on this plan? We received that, uh, that draft uh, of this plan. We are currently in um, uh, expert assessment and talks with uh, Romanian authorities. Um, uh, uh, we see that uh, the proposal was uh, very well prepared, so I believe that after this uh, final touches and the consultations, uh, when uh, the uh, plan will come to Brussels, I believe that we would resolve uh, this issue without any problems. Green certificate trading scam will be reviewed. This new scam will take into account the request of producers from steel industry. We uh, studied this green certificate scheme. It was notified to the European Commission as a as a state aid. We studied it. Uh, uh, we uh, approved it. So I believe that uh, this problem is also resolved, and then also a steel producer would uh, benefit from the decision. As a Vice President of the uh, European Commission, what's your opinion regarding the current emission scandal involving the Volkswagen diesel cars? I think that it's a very serious issue uh, because uh, it uh, really tarnished uh, the uh, image of the European uh, car industry. The fact that we've been very proud that our cars are the, the cleanest, uh, safest and the, and the best in the world. And I think that now we really have to work uh, very hard uh, uh, with the car industry. Uh, to make sure that we would restore the image and trust of the, the consumers as soon as possible. We already had several meetings with the Volkswagen representatives. Uh, uh, I'm very glad that as of 1st of January we are going to introduce the new tests, the tests which, are being, uh, which will be conducted in the uh, real driving conditions. So uh, I believe that uh, um, uh, together with the member states who have uh, the powers to inspect uh, the cars on the spot will actually um, improve uh, the quality of testing and we will be testing the cars uh, in real driving conditions not only in the moment when they are uh, allowed and permitted to enter the circulation but also uh, during uh, uh, the, the operation so we could see if the standards of these cars are still uh, um, respected even after a few years of uh, the usage. What are the basics of the organization of the electricity market in Europe? I think it's quite clear also after the discussion we had with the Romanian stakeholders that uh, we simply need to have uh, more convergence and better understanding how the uh, electricity markets and market in Europe uh, performs uh, and I think that we simply need to change the design of the uh, European electricity market because we have much uh, stronger performance of uh, renewable sources which uh, are clean but at the same time they are very volatile, they are, they are very intermittent and we uh, need to make sure that uh, our uh, grids are balanced. So therefore what we are proposing uh, is uh, that uh, we need to better integrate uh, renewables into our uh, energy uh, mixes we need to make sure that we are using much better the possibility of regional cooperation. I'm very glad that uh, uh, Romania is cooperating so closely with Hungary, Slovakia, Czech Republic in so-called uh, electricity market coupling. And uh, this would be one uh, recipe which definitely we would, uh, we would support and we would propose also in this new electricity market design, which I hope will uh, lead to the fact that, ele that electricity would be cheaper, more affordable, uh, cleaner, and uh, the supply would be much more secure. What's the future of the electricity production from coal? I think that uh, coal uh, is still playing a very important role in uh, many of our uh, member states. Uh, and uh, uh, it's quite clear that for countries like Poland and uh, Rum Romania, uh, this is still seen as a very, very important uh, source of energy. But at the same time, I think that it's quite clear that um, uh, coal uh, will help to fit with our uh, climate agenda. The heads of states and government uh, agreed in October uh, of the last year what should be our uh, climate goals, how much uh, we would reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. The, the goal is very ambitious by, by 40 percent. Uh, how much we need to increase the energy production from renewables where uh, Romania is actually doing uh, very well and uh, therefore also the, uh, the, uh, the, the coal power plants will have to be refurbished, modernized. Uh, uh, we need to invest much more in research and innovation efforts in carbon capture and storage technologies to make sure that if we use the coal, we use it in a, in a, in a cleaner way and we use it in a way which would allow us to also meet our climate goals. Iran is exploring the possibility to, to supply gas to Europe 
To what extent could the Iranian gas replace the Russian and when? I think that uh, uh, here we are working very much for more di diversification of the supply. We would like to see more sources, we would like to see new roads of, of gas supplies. We see how quickly is developing these big projects, bringing Caspian gas from, uh, from Azerbaijan uh, to Europe. We see new discoveries in, uh, in Mediterranean, we just had the good news uh, from uh, Romanian. Uh, Black Sea. So we see that uh, the sources are uh, diversified and, uh, and we are going to propose the, in the February uh, of the next year also new strategy how to use the LNG better in Europe. So we will see a uh, diversified supply of sources. I'm sure that Russia will remain a uh, very, very important partner. And concerning Iran, I think that first we'll see uh, more presence of Iranian oil on, um, uh, on the markets and gas. Uh, uh, would come much later because currently lots of gas is used uh, by Iranian economy. Iran is actually importer of uh, Turkmeni gas to Iran. So I think uh, uh, at first we will see the consolidation of the gas industry in Iran and we will see uh, uh, how the uh, prospects of Iranian gas export with, uh, will evolve in the future. There was a lot of pipeline projects, most of them abandoned. What is the chance to see one of these realized and when? Now, I think that uh, Romania is in a natural place of being regional uh, energy hub. You are playing very, very important uh, role. And I uh, just uh, thank your representatives for a very important role they played uh, in uh, so-called KESEC group. KESEC stands for the connectivity of Central and South in, South, uh, uh, Southeastern European countries. Because uh, 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 Romania and uh, her interconnectors would be very important uh, for the energy security in Europe. And uh, there are several prospects of having uh, uh, pipelines going through a country. I mean, we can speak about vertical corridors, uh, uh, we can uh, speak about Brua projects, uh, or we can speak about some other projects uh, which have been already mentioned in this context, like the East Ring. So I think what will in the end uh, uh, decide the future of this project would be commercial viability, discussions among the transmission system operators and uh, the actual needs. But I think that uh, Romania will definitely consolidate its role as a regional uh, energy hub uh, for the Southeast Europe and Western Balkans. So what is the chance to see one pipeline gas pass to Romania? I think that we will see that uh, Southern Gas Corridor uh, will bring a new Caspian gas uh, to Europe uh, before 2020. And then, of course, we will see how this Southern Gas Corridor will be linked uh, to uh, the, the countries like Barga Bulgaria, Romania, and I believe it will go even up uh, more to the north, to Hungary and, and uh, to Austria. So all these uh, projects are on the list of so-called uh, projects of common interests, where Romania have quite a few proposals and I believe that uh, most of them will be materialized and we are going to discuss it with the uh, Romanian Prime Minister and the Energy Minister which projects they see as a priorities and how can we help them to, uh, to prepare them uh, and then to help uh, uh, to finance them as well. Renewable energy is promoted more and more like a new heating strategy. What is the scenario that it's a scenario in which the renewable energy could become competitive without any form of support? I think we are quite uh, close uh, um, um, to that moment because we see that renewables develop very quickly, uh, they are more and more uh, competitive, uh, uh, therefore we also adjusted our state aid guidelines for uh, renewables uh, where, where we would like to see much more um, harmonious approach how the uh, renewables uh, are supported. And I think we are also seeing a gradual change uh, in support of uh, renewables uh, in a way which is more cost effective and which is reflecting the fact that uh, renewables are becoming more and more mature technologies. And I think uh, that in uh, not uh, such a long future, we, we would see them competing freely with other sources of energy. And uh, to this, we are also adjusting the way how we uh, uh, recommend uh, that these sources should be uh, supported uh, by finances to make sure that uh, we will have uh, uh, a much more coordinated approach to the support of renewables uh, across the EU than uh, how we had it a uh, few years before when uh, this industry was uh, really at the starting stage.